Um, let's talk about South Carolina really quick. So Ralph Russo uh, sent out a tweet earlier, and he said that the Vanderbilt coach, or sorry, the uh, South Carolina coaching search is winding down. Like it's, it appears that it is pretty much set. They are going to have their guy uh, sometime this week. It has been reported that uh, Billy Napier is going to have an in-person interview at South Carolina this week. Kind of, uh, kind of funny considering he's got a Friday night game at App State. I don't know what to take from that other than I might have to bet App State uh, because they, I mean, Louisiana's already got their side of the conference wrapped up. Um, he said, this is interesting because of, uh, because a bunch of the names that have been tossed around still have games left, some multiple games, which might tell you a little something about who is in play. Um, I have been reading several different articles about how well the Shane Beamer interview went. Now, they're still going to interview Billy Napier, but Shane Beamer, who is the uh, offensive head coach for the, or sorry, the assistant head coach for the offense at Oklahoma, 43, former assistant at uh, South Carolina, like all sorts of different stuff. He was there from 2007 to 2010. He, you know, I, I don't know a ton about Shane Beamer other than he's young. Everybody seems to love him. If that's the guy that you fired Will Muschamp and paid a massive buyout for, if you're a South Carolina fan, how do you feel? If you're a fan, you just have to trust your AD. When the guy gets in the door, the guy's your guy. I mean, everybody has an idea of who their guy is, okay? But but once once the new guy's named, that's your guy, and your list goes away. Yeah. I it, So it, I, I assume it is between... <laughs> Uh, Billy Napier and Shane Beamer, and I'm like, if it's if it's Napier, I'm feeling really good. If it's Beamer, you know, you can talk yourself into it because offensive head coach or assistant offensive head coach at Oklahoma. I mean, that sounds good, but we all know that that's Lincoln Riley's offense. So is this just? Yeah, you but know, if he's learned Lincoln Riley's offense, then that helps. I mean, I guess, but we're kind of getting into the uh, the Sean McVay situation in the NFL. Yeah, right? I don't. I'm not a huge fan of that, but it uh, many, many, many coaches have been hired because they, you know, have done that, and some of them have worked out, and some of them haven't. So, I mean, that's that is true. That is true. I mean, we see what uh, what Lafleur is doing up in Green Bay, yeah. and I mean, who knows? So we uh, we will see about the South Carolina job. But let's uh, let's talk about your boy Bieber. Who do you think it's going to end up being? Um. Do you think it's Billy? I, if Napier wants the job, I think he gets the job. Like I, I, I think that's how that goes. But man, do you I think I there's heard, any way? Do you think there's any way they even f- float out the information about Shane and how well that interview went if he's not the guy? I, probably not. But they they also have not interviewed Napier in person. I'm also hearing. Yeah, you don't have to interview Napier. Well, they, I, like that, that's not an interview. That's a, do you want this job? That's, that's kind of the thing. Well, they've already done zoom interviews. Uh, he could not come in last week because of, he tested positive for COVID. Uh, he will be going in this week. And if you're interviewing a guy after you've already interviewed Shane Beamer, that kind of makes me think, Hey, it may have gone well, but you know, may, maybe they weren't sold immediately, you know? So I, I would have to think what, what I have heard is that Napier wants a king's ransom to come coach. And then like, the, yeah, that's fine. So, and if if they don't feel like paying that, then obviously you if get the If that's the case, you walk away cuz his yeah. So, I I do think Napier is is worth more than Beamer. Uh because yes, it's he's worth more, more than Beamer, but I would need to know the definition of a king's ransom is. Yes. If you can pay Beamer 2 million and Napier 4, I I'm fine. I'll pay the 4 because yeah. that's what SEC coaches get and you got that kind of money. I, if he I wants think, to walk in the door day 1 and he wants 5 or 6, that's no. the number that I'm hearing. I, the the number that I have heard was Napier wants like 5 million over over 5 years guaranteed. No. No. Nope. So I wouldn't I wouldn't do it either, but maybe they will. Maybe they will. I mean, it's it, it, in the grand scheme of things, with the money that they bring in from TV, twenty five million isn't you know. Oh yeah, it's a drop in the bucket. It, the The biggest issue and now this is a this is bad for negotiations, but i i don't I don't like being bent over by a barrel. Okay, we have to have a partnership. All right, at some point in time, the deal has to be good for all parties involved. Okay, 
And, and if you want to come in and, and you're supposed to be a South Carolina guy and we want to pay you, that's fine. But if you're going to come in and be demanding, then, then you're not just going to be demanding in your salary. You're going to be demanding in a lot of things, which Agreed. means you're not going to be agreeable, which means you're not going to do what's best for South Carolina. You're going to do what's best for Billy. Well, it's so, that's, so I can't that's blame the him. Issue. I can't blame him for that. Here's the other side of this is if you look at that South Carolina's coaching hires just throughout, like obviously they brought in Lou Holtz and they brought in Spurrier, right? Nobody else has has stayed at South Carolina really long term and had had a good career. They've all they've all either been fired or that's it. Like nobody has taken South Carolina and moved on to a better job. Like it's you're at South Carolina and you don't win and you get fired. It's a coaching graveyard. So if I'm Billy Napier, I feel like I could win there, but if it's just too much to overcome, then I need to make sure I get mine. And I, I totally get that side of it, right? Yeah, I guess you're right. That makes sense. I do get that. I'm okay with that. So. I mean, and you're right. Th- uh, these schools make a lot of damn money. Oh, they yeah. got no reason to not pay the coaches. So. Yep. You got that right. Like, I, I don't think Napier is going to be the guy that decides to show up just as a charity case, you know? Like, I, yeah. I feel bad well, for South Carolina. I'm not asking him to so. do that. Yeah. I just, I just want people to go to work and understand that they work for somebody bigger than themselves. Agreed. Agreed. Like, and I think you can do that when and you're still get paid. running a team, I need you to know – I need the coach to just just be as as team oriented as everybody else. Uh, Havoc jumps in, said Nagy Road reads coattails just like Gase did Peyton. Very similar. Tyrone Davis jumps in, said, "Hey, what's up? I was hoping Alabama would have lost." Uh, there's a lot of people that wish that, buddy. Uh, Michael Fritz said, "What's up, fellas?" Uh, Casey said, "The Bears' O line is just bad. Nagy isn't that bad." I eh, Casey, that's somebody who seems to want invested in the Bears staying bad. That's kind of what that sounds like. That's uh, that's 100% what that sounds like. 